I'm back. Another one. Now this is the one that it's the final thing that I've actually paid for. And I do have stuff in my cart though. Thought I would do forward facing because you know, got a new hairdo. Which I think. Um, so again, just gonna unbox. Most of this is probably gonna be some kitchen stuff, kitchen gadgets, probably a lot of jewelry, um, other random things. I'm not sure. And I'm still looking at myself instead of at you guys. I'm so sorry. It's the phone. The other setup I had, I had a camera that was, it was totally different. So I'm gonna crack in, try to be as quick as possible, just show you more of my shenanigans. And, uh, like I said, we'll go from there. Um, if you prefer to see the person who's talking to you, then let me know in the comments. Or if you prefer that I did it, like, overhead like I've done before, let me know if that's the preference. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to need to, again, put this on the floor, bring out whatever. Oh! Messy YouTuber. I'm so sorry. Let's clean up that background. <laughs> Don't hate. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna put one thing, oh, one thing out. Oh, I know what this is now. Put the rest of the shot. Okay, so most of this stuff in here, most of the goodies are mine, but the my daughter and the baby daddy. <laughs> Um, you know, always buying some little things for them and things for around the house. So, that's what we're going to see in here. Um, again, the crinkle, some people might enjoy. Eh, I don't know if I enjoy that on a video. I think I'm far enough away that I'm loud enough that you hear me. And this is not that crazy. So, I just want to show. It's garden season. And I saw these, I thought they were so cute. You put them on and you can dig in the dirt and make a whole plant of seeds. Hey, I got two of them. So there's another pair somewhere down there. Um, but yeah, so this is for the household, but more for the other two, the two of them, because mama's not going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? Let's not waste time on doing that. Okay, and then there's a few other things. Oh, this is also a gardening tool. So, I mean, like straight up, they have like everything. It's like crazy, right? So, <laughs> it comes with this thumb right here with a vicious nail. And it's a blade. And then it has these little <laughs> bag of condoms, rubber <laughs> finger condoms anyway. Um, so that you can cut stems by, you know, pressing against it and, you know, hitting your finger but not cutting yourself. I guess if you be really aggressive, it's a possibility. But anyway, so that's that. I thought it was interesting. Something to make things easier. Um, so, you know, if you want to get things done and you want to do things, if you have tools, then it makes it easier for other people to do the work. <laughs> anyway. So that's another thing. Oh, um, I've got a diamond dot uh, puzzle? Is a, no, whatever. What is this thing? The diamond dot. It's a picture of something. I don't remember. I, have, I got two. Uh, where the hell? Oh, here's the opening. So I can see if I can find the image. I mean, they weren't that bad. I think they were like maybe $4, if I remember correct. But they had other ones with different values. And you know how it is. If you go to Michael's, this is like an arm and a leg. Oh, so this is the dream catcher. I love feathers. I love dream catchers. Um, so yeah. So everything comes looks like this separated, uh, numbered, the, the, the bead tray. I mean, it's all inclusive. So yeah, this is cute. I've never done a full one like this. I've done little ones that I've gotten at crafty events. So I've gotten, I got this. And uh, I'll fold away this second, get this back in. I have to get this working. And I think the other one I got, I want to say it's a peacock because the colors were so pretty in the picture and on the on the app website. So 
So yeah, so that's my diamond dot. Um, there should be another stuff in here. Um, I'm getting all these things that are like, you can't see through the bags. Oh, I got these. These are um, tension rods. Because in my last order for Shein, I got those hooks that you can adhesive to the wall. So being a teacher, sometimes you want to hang up chart paper and stuff like that. And you uh, can't really make a hole <laughs> in the walls because sometimes there's cement walls, like in my room. So I can do the adhesive and then I could have this and I could, you know, use the rings and whatnot to hold them up. Um, so yeah, so this is a package of five of them. So I could put this up in the whiteboard and put the date, like a flip chart. So even though I know June is around the corner, um, because I was on sabbatical and going back in this semester, um, my thoughts were to decorate, but then I wound up not decorating. It's a whole thing. So this is going in the teacher box for next year. Okay, let's see. In here, what the hell? <laughs> so this is a set of these little Lego figurines. If you've seen any of my other hauls, you'll know that you have seen me get Lego stuff. Lego-ish. Lego dupes for the child. So she ordered like a whole set of different villains. So I think there's, it was like $9 and I think there's about 9 or 10 for like a buck a piece of these little guys in here. So that's for her. So I'm not going to answer any, like again, toys. See, you know what's crazy? It's so much to get. Oh, these. I don't know if you guys have seen these. I saw them on Amazon. And <laughs> I thought they were cute and I could take lunch stuff. They're Ziploc baggies in the shape of a mason jar. So you can open them up. Fill them up with nuts, uh, sunflower seeds. Uh, anything small. I don't know how waterproof um, or how watertight they are. I'm going to try that. Uh, you could put, I don't know. I was thinking watertight because like I could put some hummus in here or something. Because sometimes having those round jars of everything in your bag to take for lunch is like ridiculous. And cost-wise, it was much cheaper. And they have so many different sizes. It's like really cool. So you get like three or four of each size in this package. So that's another teacher kitchen kind of kind of deal. Mm -hmm. All right, I got two of these. They look like an iron, and they are for ironing purposes. But this is for ironing with a steamer. So you know how you run the steamers up against your clothes and the whatever. This you put on your hand. You stick your hand inside, and then you are able to um, put your hand behind the garment. So you put your hand in here, inside here, and you put your oh, garment is here and your steamer, and you can like actually go like this and not like burn your fingers off. So I was like, oh cool, they have a little thing to hold your little finger in there for stability. It pretty much covers your whole hand, so that's good. And um, yeah, so I have a lot of dresses now that I've been getting from um, Bloom Sheet, which is another Chinese company, and. Um, you got, they gotta be ironed. <laughs> so, and then a friend of mine is steaming a lot of her office wear, so I picked her up one as well. Um, see if that'll help her in the process. Okay. Jesus, everything is in bags. Hidden. I don't know what this is. So, I know I'm liking Timu. I'm feeling like I'm spending tons there because I keep going on and just scrolling to look for things to buy. <laughs> I need to stop. Okay, so I bought this. Oh, this is the magnetic, uh, the magnetic eyelashes. These are really pretty. They flare out a lot. So I've been trying to get back into my makeup and so yes, it's not today. I have residue because, you know, I came home from work and I took a nap before I did this. So, um, it comes with this whole set, the holder, the, the liquid uh, to put on your eye and then pair of magnetic lashes in there um only one pair is in here and i don't know these are these magnetic yeah these don't seem to be magnetic so i don't know if you can see 
right? The band is very much solid. Um, and when you look at the magnetic ones, if you look at, ah, well, I can't get them They're over there. They have little tiny magnets and they're kind of spaced out. So my bad, but I cannot, if I move the table, it'd be too much, but yeah. So I'm trying out the magnetic lashes to see what it's like. Now I'm curious why they sent this and the one I thought it was supposed to have more magnetic lashes than just one pair. So we shall see. Um, I got in a different version that pinched onto the eye lash and that was interesting but very hard to do so um, maybe this magnetic lash glue is gonna work and then I can just line it up and then plop them on and we'll see what happens I'm willing to try and from Timu you know it's, it's inexpensive so hey why not <clears throat> okay so we've got our first jewelry which are these beautiful, oh my god, these are so beautiful, look at that, look at that sparkle, look at that. Let me get my Somebody suggested if I cover my face, that it might focus a little better. So, I don't know, but I mean, look, the sparkle is just beautiful. And it's a pretty decent size, so like, you know, with the short hair and the dangle, nice. So jewelry and i don't think any jewelry that i've gotten from them has been more than like two dollars so since i got the jewelry i've been getting a ton of it and it's just been thrown into like a drawer um i mean they're not gold and silver and stuff like that but i you know want them to last so i got this little holder so to just put it together like that and you can put your earrings on there and it could stand that's so cute. <clears throat> it's acrylic. I don't know if it has... I don't know. Maybe? You know that if this is like a fuzzy layer because it's not like... It's not giving me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, eh, it's so dull. So, I got a few... Oh, yes, it does. Look. Oh, nice. So then you go on the other side. Oh, you gotta get right on the edge. Look. Oh, ooh, that's even better, y'all. Look at that. It's so clear. And the bottom is the same. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, la la. I'm not going to do the bottom bottom, but I wanted to feel how this... <clears throat> you know, this is pretty tight. Like, I, I... If I had some place to put it on a wall or something, or against the... A shelf in a bookcase? I, I would totally do that. That sucker's not coming out. And once you have a stationery, you, you, you know, put some double-sided tape. You can hang up your earrings. It's beautiful. I think I got like three or four of these. I'm, I'm really impressed. I like that. I mean, yes. Could we all take a piece of cardboard and pop some holes into it and stick our earrings? Of course we can. You know, we are, we are ingen ingen ingenuity. Ingen 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 we are people with ingenuity. That's another one that I said that I was getting. That I got three or four. Oh, here's the other one, which is the peacock. Um, you know what it looks like, but here's the peacock's image right there. A lot of purples and blues. So, big glare. I might have too many lights on. But anyway, so that's the peacock. I'm putting stuff over here that I've looked at. What is this? Um. Oh. So, it also has some makeup stuff in here. So, this is a brow crayon because my brows, when I was younger, weren't fat and bushy at all. They still aren't really fat and bushy, but getting older, it's feeling I need to, like, kind of clean them up a little bit. But they're very sparse over here, and they don't, they don't really have any thickness. I only pluck a little bit from my hair, so... I said, you know what, let me get some brow products, and uh, the spoolie on one side, and then the little tip, which has a small little amount to show to be able to create those hairs. I think this brand was mentioned by uh, Yari, Yari G, is that her name? Yeah, she's, into, she's the beauty guru, 
and I think she was like that they were good. So I said, you know what? She uses them. She knows more or less what she's talking about. So let me just try. Okay. You know, it's getting kind of look. Let's put it up here. I need to see my bag. Because we're getting into like repeat products and whatnot. So here's another one. It's just a different color because again, color is always something hard to match when you're thinking about, you know, buying online and stuff. So here's the other one of those. Another set of the Lego thingies for the child. Um, what the hell is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. <laughs> it looks vaguely familiar. Like there's something about the circles I remember. But I don't remember what this is for. <laughs> so some random green item. And I know that this is like double sided tape. So I I don't know say. So that's that's another peril of doing shopping on Timu. Um I got one of these little tiny nose rings that are the slide-on kind that you put in so that you can fake like you have a nose ring. Let's see. Let's do it. Walk, look away. Look away if you think this is horrible. Gross. There we go. How does that look? Can I pull it off? Do you think? I don't know. But I'm a whack job sometimes, so hey, people may just like accept it. Uh, I'm going to wear it, and the next time I do a Timo haul, I'll let you know. Um, just, you know. Why not? Why not? Oh, this is another jewelry item. So I had gotten um, several holes as a young child. So I have my regular holes when I was a child that mom did when I was like an infant. Then I had added a second hole when I was younger when um, the young men were starting to get piercings in their ear. One year only. One year only. And it had to be the left ear to prove that you were not, you know, anyway, the things that, you know, society and whatever. So then I got in that hole. And then the other two after that were just craziness. And then I did one up here. I have one up here. So I actually got these little black studs, titanium studs from Timu. And they're so, I haven't had a problem with them. They have a nice backing that screws on, which I was marveled to see that I had a screw on back. And even this one has like that screw on back, which is perfect. So <clears throat> that hole up here that I was telling you, that's where I want to put this little set of diamonds. They didn't have exactly the same. Well, they're not diamonds, but you know, they're kind of like diamond adjacent. What the, you know what? Let me, this light is getting to me. I'm going to turn off one of my lights. Let's see if that'll help because... I feel like that's really messing with me, but maybe it wasn't that one. Anyway, I can see you can see that a little better. I don't know. It's like I want to cover my face, but then I can't see I can't see anything. So this is gonna go up here and live there forever. So another team will find. Perfect. Um I think I should have oh, I bought these. They're they look like cupcake liners. They probably are <laughs> no no they're not. They, they feel different. So what they are, I have a lot of those um, li um, wax melts. So yeah, this is much thicker. And it's um, lined here. This is like um, plastic lined. Um, so you can put this in your wax um, melt thing. And the heat will then melt the wax and release the oils and stuff into the air. So, and then it, you know, cools down and it solidifies and back and forth and back and forth. And eventually the oils are gone from the wax, but the wax doesn't disappear. So you're just heating up wax and no, not, there's no more aroma. So then you like got to take it off the wall and you know, it's a thing. If you have wax thing, you know, it's a thing. So I figured I'll clean them out, put this in. One second to the point where the wax, you know, whatever, when it solidifies here, I'm going to first try to see if I can just pop it out because of this waxy, you know, you can see it's a little sheen to it, this coating. So, you know what? I took a chance. I bought a pack of these. It's like maybe 12 and, uh, no, 10 pieces. I have like four wax machines and I 
Why not? I mean, it probably was no more than like a dollar fifty. So hey, why not? Right? Because these are emery boards of all different um, thicknesses. Uh, they all are that kind of yui shape. Um, I haven't found like I need a certain shape, but I did get this only because, and I think it was like almost four dollars because it has a bunch of these different grits and I wanted to know what the grits were about because I've gotten a bunch and it's like 100 180 so one is a little rougher one's a little finer but like I mean they go up to 240 they go down so just to have a variety to try if I get stuck doing something and I can't like get the nail polish off and whatever I want to have you know options these are two more products that were, I believe, also for the brows that were mentioned. Um, two different colors. I'll just show you what one looks like. So it's this. It's eyebrow contouring. And I think this one has um, the little spiky brush. Let's see. The little spiky brush. Yes. See? Let's try this again. The little spiky brush. And that's not getting any better, people. I don't know. Okay. Put them in front of my hand. You can kind of see them. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could prove it. I'll just do this. Yeah, so it's supposed to give the appearance of strokes of hair. Which does. So you can fill in. So, yeah, I mean, I'm already looking at this and I'm like, that was so simple. And, you know, in the right length, it's going to look like hair. So, as long as I don't go OD, it should be fine. This one was the, um, what color is this one? This is color number two and color number one. So, I don't know if two is, oh, so two is dark brown and one is light brown. So, this is the dark brown on me. Uh, light brown, I don't know how much lighter it could be. If it's really light, it's going to be... Oh, here's the other gloves. So the gloves before. Um, trying to... Okay, kitchen item. <laughs> I thought this was kind of uh, silly. Because it's like, why do we need a gadget for everything, right? But, this is... Uh, it's not sharp to... It's not sharp to the touch. But it is supposed to be um, to help you peel oranges. I know it sounds stupid. But if you have no nails, like I have no nails right now, I can get in there. And then my orange is going to be, you know, get in here and it's going to stain my nail, my natural nail and stuff like that. And it's going to be a pain and get pulp, whatever. This will help you to get that first bite that causes all this drama. If you have fake nails, ex you know, longer nails, extensions, also might be more difficult to get into the orange. So you have um, the part that can go dig in. This part you can slice around the cover of it. I don't know. I'm going to try it because I take oranges like with me to work now like every day. So it's a home slash maybe I'll be carrying it to work kind of thing. Um, I got... <laughs> For the, for the baby daddy, I got a finger strengthener. And I got this one because you have the strap that goes around your wrist. And um, I also have carpal tunnel. So um, doing this would help, you know, alleviate some of that as an exercise. But, you know, I'm so lazy to do stuff like that. But you put, because I remember doing it and having to put my hand in this like, round contraption with a bunch of holes that like a netting and I had to go like this and stretch the netting so this is kind of like very similar you have these and you have the poundage like so how many pounds would it be to stretch these out and you have to stretch your hand flat of course I'm not like in the right place I didn't make it tight enough but um, I could use it but I bought this for for the baby daddy because um He's always looking to, you know, have those, like, things to, like, work out your hands. 
So it's a cute, it's interesting. It actually feels like it's, you know, really going to work your fingers. Um, and that was on 13. I don't know if, I don't remember if they had different strengths, but let me tell you, I could barely do that. I could barely do it, people. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I'm not having a problem right now recently with the carpal tunnel. Um, I had surgery on this hand and on my left hand, I still need to have surgery, but since I'm right-handed, I'm not going to stress it out too much because, you know, it is what it is and what it is. Trying to find the multiple. Sorry. So I got uh, three of these. I don't know what the other one is. Three of these. And what these are um, is a clip that you put on notebook, the front of the notebook right here. You put this on the notebook. So this was the page to the front of the notebook. You slide it on the page. You know, it's pretty tight so it holds nicely. And then these three things are for you to hold pens or pencils. Basically, so they open up. Okay. So you can have a black, a red, and a blue, or you can have your pen, your black pen, red pen, and a highlighter attached to the book that you're using so that you can walk around with it. So, you know, I got a couple of these because people in here want them. So, but it is, a, it is an effective tool. I, I do think that, you know, it has its merits. And uh, whatnot. So there's another one somewhere in there. Another bag. Let's open it. Oh, kind. What is this? Oh, awesome. Okay. So this is a um, USB hub. This was about $4, I want to say. On Amazon, I purchased said hub. Uh, something very similar to this. Um this one looks more fancy <laughs> um it had the same idea of uh these little buttons so this will connect to the power and then you have all of these usbs that can be powered anything that you want to connect uh you can connect to here right so it doesn't connect to the computer but it is a way to connect all these devices that we're getting now that basically come with no block. So you have one block, you buy that, and then you can plug in all the things that you have around you. Like this thing here, you need to plug into a block. So now if this was on my desk, I don't need 15 blocks taking up the whole, you know, the whole extension cord. I could just plug it in here. And then I just turn it off and on for the ones that I want. So this, and I think what, the one I bought years ago was like $12 for seven, and this is seven slots. So this is really, really, you know, going to step it up. Okay. I said that. Uh, oh, so we have two more. We have two of these. I don't know what the hell's in here. I don't need that. Um, where's my... You gotta be handy. You gotta be handy. You gotta have stuff handy. That's what I meant to say. All right, y'all. Oh my god. So like it's midnight here where I'm at, and um, I have work tomorrow, <laughs> and uh, I should be asleep, but cannot. Oh, these are the glasses. Okay, cool. These are the sunglasses. Um. All right, they're a lot darker than I thought. Let me just, you know, try these on and see how how I'm feeling. I'm feeling very matrixy. Anyway, um, so, um, I used to have a ton of glasses. I don't know if you know. There's a store called the Avenue. It used it had used to have mom and, like mortar, brick and mortar, and then they started closing them down in Queens around here a lot, and it was like, what the hell? And then, um. You know, it's just online. And it's a store for larger women, such as myself. And um, when they were closing them out, and uh, like this was like years, years and years before even like the COVID whatever. I don't know. Am I going to get a block because of that? Well, I don't have enough followers. Now this. These are my color. This is my color. I love me some green. So these are the shizzle. I know, I'm sounding so corny. But that's okay. I'm okay. Um, so, talking about the green. This is some kind of a pencil. 
uh, an ever never ending never ending pencil never like this video is never ending <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so somehow this tip is going to write like a pencil, no problem. And then in here, I believe there's an eraser so that you can erase. So, I mean, this feels awkward to me because to erase, I have to open the pen. So that's one thing. But I love, 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 guess what? The color. So I could have this with me at work and um, look fancy with, and I, you know, and uh, yeah, I don't correct papers on paper. I, they get uploaded digitally and then I correct and, and comment and feedback and all that good stuff online. Right, here's something that I pulled out that is flat. Let's see what this is. Oh! In my last haul, I had shown, did I? I think I might have that poster that I got. So then this, um, you know, it had that same black and white vibe. So this is a pack of a bunch of, of posters that I can hang up in the classroom. So I'm probably not going to put these up this year, but next year definitely. I, I'm truthful with the kids. I'm real with the kids. I'll tell them to their face. You know, listen, what I, you know, come on. So all things are difficult before they are easy, which is like the mantra for math. It should be because they hate math. So you know how I am so much appreciated because being the math teacher, not, not really. <laughs> um, every day is what you make it. So again, when you have those behavior issues, you know, just trying to send a message out there, having it in your face. Um, your attitude determines your direction. So, that's that. The The secret of getting ahead is getting started. So, you know, we're having... These are all perfect, perfect, perfect for the classroom. Um, think big. You are capable of more than you know. You know, they want us to be motivational to the students. You know, but, so it's always nice to have. Don't just wish for it. Work for it. So I really, really do enjoy these sentiments, and I am totally, for next year, start of September, I'm going to have my, my room in a vibe. Uh, black, white, probably, make some red, because I, and red's my other favorite color, um, and some red because of those um, bars and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, I'd add some green in there, but you know, then it'll be like Christmas, and... That would be that would be too extra. Oh, so here's the third one of that. Put it over there. Alright, these are all little things. So I'm gonna just put them on the table, get rid of the bag, and then we can finish up. Most of this is all jewelry as well, so that is um what we're looking at. Okay. So you know <laughs> let me double check because you know Sometimes things get stuck. Oh, it feels empty. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. So, um, this is another pair of those earrings because I've been purchasing for friends. So, when I like something and it makes me think of somebody, I grab it for them. So, that's another earring that's the same that is what we already, what we've already seen. Um, these are two makeup items in two different shades. Again, I believe that all of these were mentioned by Yari G in one of her hauls. So this is a concealer. And I think she said it was pretty good coverage in terms of um, the thickness and overall. So this is two. And this is one of the colors. It just, it just says two. I don't see any other. But I've got the two and the... Maybe what's the other number? The two and the two and the four, right? Two and the four. She had gotten the two and the four. She's much darker um, in coloring than I am. Um, I think, and um, not that she's much darker than me. I I feel like that's the case. Um, the four. So yeah. So I think I might have messed up. I think I was supposed to like go to a different color. But you can always mix and match and all that stuff. So I got these two colors. 
you know, summertime is coming. I don't get a lot of color in the summertime, but I do get a little bit because I tend to burn first. And then by the end of the summer, like, oh, I've got some color on me. But it's nothing dramatic like, oh, you've been in the beach all summer? No, that's not even the case. Um, okay, these are waxing strips for, you know, if you're women of a certain age, you may need to uh, take care of some stuff. So I pick these up to try them out um, and do some of that self-care at home. And, um, oh, we have a little box. We have a little box of something. It says clear on it. A clear what? Oh, okay. So this is the brush cleaner for the e-file. So when you use your bits, they can get gummed up, whatever the case is. Uh, you have a metal bristle and a bristle bristle, regular plastic bristle. And you just run the heads in there and it'll rub off all the dirt and then you empty it out. It reminds me of the petty egg. Remember you scratch your face, your feet and then, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I just, you know, I'm using, I'm going to learn how to use the e-file. And so I just, you know, saw it there. I said, you know, good to have in the arsenal because you have the tool. So that's that. Let's see what else we have that's not jewelry. Oh, this. I don't know about this. This right here, this is a disposable ear piercing unit. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna, <laughs> or maybe I'll add another one up here or a second one over here. So I, I'm like I'm crazy enough for that. So we shall see. I don't know. Do you, should I record it if I do it? Let me know in the comments below. Okay. Okay. Oh, so my, one of my long, long time friends is a nurse. So I got her a keychain with all the nursey bits on it. It's so cute. I mean, it's so adorable. And her hair is short like that too, so it's perfect. So a keychain for her. Um, I have another, I have a couple of friends who are nurses, but one that I've known since I'm 14. And... That's been that's that's been a while. This thing I thought was cute and probably totally unnecessary, but that's probably what um, Timu's slogan should be. Timu, the prices are so low, buy the totally unnecessary. This is a spoon to do the coffee, and it just stays clipped on the bag. So you open the bag, you finish, you know, you go like that, and there it goes. It's on the top of the bag of the coffee. Now that might bother some people that this is out in the open. It doesn't bother me. So, you know, you take it, you rinse it off, you put it, and it air dries. I sit on it. Yeah, I was like, this is cool. This is what I picked this up. I'm such a dork. I picked that up. What else is this? I really looked at that. Uh, there was some. Oh, here it goes. Um, all right, so then I also got. Let's see. What's something else in the bag? So I don't know what it is. Um, oh, this is, a, the, this is the last of it. Everyone's talking about this soap, brow styling soap to really like plaster them down. So I decided to just grab a soap. So I got a soap for that. Um, and nope, I'm lying again. This is, <laughs> this is the last makeup item. It's all about concealing I'm seeing here and like putting structure to my face um yeah and so i got this i thought i only got one um this is a concealer i think i thought i would have gotten two because again like i said she had bought several shades and working off that she's a bit dark you know she's a bit darker than my coloring i don't know so i have this who knows i have so many makeup that you buy like you know and you don't know the color that you're supposed to have and it's like you, you wind up with tons of stuff in the drawer. And, you know, we don't think of mixing. That's not, you know, at least not in my head. These little houses are for my tarantulas to put in their enclosures. Just somewhere. Decorative. They're so cute. So, no, that's another thing that I purchased. And then, the rest is, uh, no, what is this one? 
uh, one box. Oh, this is double-sided adhesive that I was going to use at work to hang stuff up. Like posters, because we can't, you know, we can't put nails in, etc. like that. And it comes in its own little case. And it's these little thin, and they're supposedly adhesive. I'm not going to open one because I don't want to waste it. There is like a, a little score line in the middle, so I'm assuming you can take off half so you're not getting it. The box doesn't close that, <laughs> that great. Uh, yeah, but... I think I'm gonna put it back in in this here so that's another work related item and now looking at the table almost to the last of the things I mean listen you can find everything I found this what is this for you say your inquisitive mind what the hell is this for like look at it right what is this it's a tweezer with a little thing over here see little silver silver does it come off completely thankfully not or else it would be lost no so what is this well you sir <laughs> if you've ever ever had to put a elastic in a garment's waist or a hoodie whose string has been pulled out unexpectedly what do you do most people may live without that string on the hoodie but some people will try to figure out how do I push this through and, and you know through fabric across well this you clamp the fabric and then you push this down to hold on and then this is something that you're easily more able to push through versus like some flimsy little thing I mean I go ghetto style I was like give me a pencil taped it to the pencil, and shoved it in. But you got the eraser or the point or what's going to, you know, and it gets stuck. This nice and smooth. I, it just, it, you know, and it just popped up. Like, use the stuff do you need or, like, is it just, like, perfect? So, yeah. So, I picked that up for the house <laughs> so that we can uh, take care of that. All right. So, now we've got several pieces of jewelry and now we're going to be done. This is a... A pendant for my friend the nurse she's born in February so her uh, her stone is the amethyst and this just happened to be like it's purple I kind of see that it's purple and it's like the tree of life in in this and I thought that that was just beautiful I know that she's and it comes with the um the chain as well which is like a, a lanyard kind of thing She's done, she's had paintings made because she has three children and like a tree motif and then like all the children were like on the, the branches and stuff like that. So it's just like paying a little bit of like of an homage to that. Um, and like I said, she was born in Feb and so I saw these and I thought, you know, these are, they're so pretty. They don't, they don't dangle, they're, they're, they're stationary, but they're long. So what makes them be dangly? Because they move or because they're just long and they're not studs? They're on like one of these hooky backs. I don't know. If you know, tell me in the comments below. <laughs> Guys, I know this video is long. And if you're still here, thank you so much. Because, you know, it's fun. Um, subscribe if you think I'm a goofball and want to see more shenanigans. Because, you know, it's encouraging. I got myself a ring. Like this. Now, this size is a size 11. I don't even know if it's going to fit on any finger, honestly, because I, I got big hands. So, I'm going to try. See, this is my ring finger. Look how tiny that is. I could push it down and get it on there, but then potentially never get it off again. Um, the pinky is okay. That's not so much. That's So, it's awkward on all hands. <laughs> so, yeah. So... I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not mad at it because it didn't cost a lot. It's on a rose gold kind. I mean, these are not real, you know, metals and stuff, like not real gems. But my brother and mother are green from May and I am diamond from April. And so I just felt like I had to have it. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. So, yeah, so I got this. And, um, you know, Another do I need this useless thing is I think on Timo they have these little plastic things that you can add to the back 
to make them tighter. So if I can do that, I could tighten it for the pinky and won't feel like, see, I'm going to have to go back to my cart and, you know, do another purchase. This sucks you in, right? Um, and here's another ring. Same kind of situation. It's an 11. So, and this one is just this white stone, you know, with some side pieces. And again, you know, doesn't quite fit correctly, but I can, you know, figure something out. <clears throat> Worst case scenario, when I start doing the nail situation, I can always like put it here when I take a video, a picture of the nails, you know, it's like, you know, bling for the, for the, you know, pictures. So yeah, so there's that. I'm going to put it in with the other one. I did also get two um, ones that are for supposedly toe rings. Um, I don't know how I feel that. This one I feel might fit my toe. It does have that open. It's already kind of like not quite uh, connected. Um, but this is like kind of what I'm saying. I'm going to do the, the video, the, not the video, pictures for like uh, nails. You have you know, rings to help, you know, give the full effect and, you know, when the nails are done and make it look pretty. So, worst case scenario, I use it for that. So, again, like I said, these are just so inexpensive. All right. And then the last one are these. Now, I don't particularly like gold, but I love me a sunflower. So, I said, you know what? Why not? Um do that because you know if you also want to think about your clothing and the clothing is like um d you know if i have browns and stuff like that i kind of don't want to i'm going to put this one on first if i can find my damn hole and uh woo, there we go wow that's kind of low but yo i love it anyway so let me show you what it looks like look at that still beautiful so I got myself these, you know, because it's a short hair, I want to show off, you know, the short hair. And, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. I bought a lot of jewelry. I keep buying jewelry from them because, you know what, variety is great. And, um, you know what, just because, before to, before to me to say to buy, <laughs> before I say goodbye, um, if you're still here, thank you so much, I'm going to put it on this thing that I got, right? Just because I want to see because, I mean, I got three. It is, a, it is a thing. So, I just want to put... So, look. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And if I was hanging it against the wall, like that, I would put it, you know, probably like this. Right? And look. This, this is fabulous. <laughs> I love it. I'm so giddy about a piece of plastic. Um, and it's not a credit card. Um, so yeah, so this is nice. I'm liking this. Very much. So, wow. Perfect. Perfection. Perfection. Oh, and you know what? I just forgot. This last one. This is for the baby daddy. And, um, again, not, here we go. It's some, it's like, it looks like, I want to say like $9. And it comes in a dust bag, which is so cool. And look at this. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I mean, it smells, but like, you know, sometimes you get like stuff smells like plastic and nasty. I mean, it smells like the, you know, like the plastic, but it's like soap. I want one now. The zipper is, is the zipper is metal. Too. Right? Oh, what? Hmm, I may be keeping this one. I don't know. But no, I, sh I should not. I don't know. We shall see. But I think they had a couple of colors. Um, yeah, this is pretty. So it was about $9. Um, but that's it now. This is like, for sure, for sure, that this is it. So thank you if you've kept with me this long. Tell me that, oh, shit. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. So my birthday is in two days, and 
I want it to be a little extra. I have one that says birthday, um, birthday girl. <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to get myself another crown. I'm going to get myself a, another tiara. I mean, whatever. And um, I have a friend who, who does games online and she streams and she wears crowns because she's the Duchess. So, <laughs> this is so cute. But it's hurting my head already. So, how do you wear these things? You just, I, I can't see you just leaving it like that. I don't know. I would have to kind of see if I could loosen it up a little bit. Right? But, I mean, honestly, look at that. That's a vibe. So, now I'll say goodbye to you guys. And thank you for hanging out. And until next time, because you know, there's stuff in my cart. Um, and I do a lot of stuff that I'm going to be bringing to this channel. So subscribe, like, comment, dislike. It's all up to you. But I really want to thank those who have been subscribing recently. If they've must have seen something to like. And I'm happy and I'm here to provide more. So until next time, ciao, ciao, later.